Hey everybody on YouTube, it's me again, Geardo 5.57. Today I want to do a review for you on this. This is the Gerber LMF2 knife. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this knife, and then I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like, and then I'm going to give it my rating on the tactical scale. First off, it's about 10 and a half inches overall length, and it's just under 5 inches on the blade. It's got a stainless steel blade with a partial serration. The handle is made out of a reinforced nylon. It's glass filled for reinforcement. And it has a nylon sheath with a built in sharpener right down here. This knife runs for about $75. It took me a little while to save up for it because, well, mom only gives me $25 a month for allowance. So it took me three months to save up for this bad boy, but I finally got it. Now, some of the things that I like about this knife are the heft. It's, it's got some good heft to it. Let me take it out of here. Look at this. You can see it's got a pretty thick blade. It's really meaty. Another thing is it's really sharp. Straight from the factory this thing is sharp enough to shave. I have no idea why you would want to shave. But if you wanted to you could use this knife. Another thing I like is it has a rubberized coating on this handle here. It helps you get a really good grip. I mean it's solid and sticky in there. You could grab this thing and hold it all day long. Something else I like is the retention. Listen to this. That's right. I mean this thing locks right into place. It's really solid in there. Something else I like is it came with a freebie. It came with a seatbelt cutter. Well I can't show you the seatbelt cutter because well, I tested it out on my mom's old mobile, and she took it away from me. I mean, she even said she might not make me a sandwich later. I mean, what kind of world are we living in? Anyway, back to the knife. Some of the things that I don't like about this knife, I told you about the handles, rubberized coating. The problem is, it's really, it's really delicate. I mean, I could scratch the thing with my fingernails. Now, if you're in the woods and you're chopping away and you hit it on something, I think it's going to not last very long at all. It's not very rugged. Another thing I don't like, if you look right here, this sharpener, you actually have to kind of take it apart a little bit. You have to take the whole knife off your belt and take it apart just to get to that sharpener. It's a minor petty complaint, but it's still, it's a complaint anyway, something I don't like. One of the main things I really don't like is these holes right here. I mean, look at this. This could be a weak point. This could actually be a fatal flaw of this knife. Time will tell. It might hold up just fine, but it sure seems like it could, it could break right here. I mean, they had to remove some metal. Now, what's the purpose of these holes? Gerber's official reason. So you can lash this thing to a stick and use it for a spear. I'm not kidding. They think that you are going to lash this to a stick and use it for a spear. And you have to have these holes to do that? Oh, thank you, Gerber. Thank you. Now, I guess that's kind of tactical. You have a knife that is like a transformer that transforms into a spear. And that's pretty tactical. But, if it breaks right there, what good is it? Something else I don't really like about it. I showed you the retention. It locks into place. But it also has two straps. Right there, it snaps into place. And up here. I mean, holy cow, that's some serious retention. What if it's the end of the world? Let's say a zombie bear is attacking me, and I have to fight him off with this knife. I gotta, oh crap, undo this snap. Oh no, undo that snap, and I still gotta fight with it to get it out of there. I could be bear, zombie bear poop by then. Don't you think? That's right. Well, in summary, I actually like this knife. It actually has more positives than negatives, that's for sure. It's pretty good, especially for $75. Now, on my tactical scale, which runs from Richard Simmons way, way down here, on the non-tactical at all, all the way up to my Chuck Norris up here, this, this is a John claude Van Damme. That's right. He's tactical, but, you know, he's not, he's not a Chuck Norris or anything. 
Now, this isn't a blood sport, John claude This is more of the time cop. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. But anyway, that's the LMF2. I hope you like it. Please leave some comments. If you have this knife, please let me know what you think of this knife. But please leave some comments. Ask me any questions about tactical stuff and... Oh, uh, hold on just a second. Mom made me a sandwich after all. So I better run, but before I go, let me just tell you, stay on point.